Hey guys, in this vlog, I'm going to talk about minimalism as it applies to software development and programming. Exciting stuff. So if you've been uh, looking around out there on the interwebs, you know that minimalism is this big thing that uh, people are getting into, yada, yada, yada. So let's just get into the main point, the main thrust of this article, and then I'll get into the details. So number one, minimalism is just getting rid of excess in your life. Now, people first think about things, getting excess furniture out of the way, uh, instead of having a huge house, having a small house, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What you are going to find when you do get rid of excess things is that your life is simplified. When you have less things to care about, you have less uh, things to care about, right? There's that old Buddhist uh, expression or that saying, I'm going to butcher it, but uh, that which you own in time comes to own you. Famously in that uh, movie Fight Club, they uh, have a, their own version of that. You know, things that you own in time will come to own you. I just said that. Anyway, you get the idea. So by getting rid of stuff, you simplify your life. And let me tell you, I can tell you that that is the case from my own personal experience. When I get rid of stuff, excess clothes, ex excess furniture, excess books, etc., 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 I just feel good. It just like mentally, it's like losing weight. It feels the same. It's very satisfying. So for example, I have tons of books and tons of uh, movies on Blu-ray and DVD. Whenever I bring them to the public library, I bring boxes of this stuff. Uh, it feels good. And it feels good for two reasons. A, because I have less clutter to contend with. And number two, uh, I know that some people are using them because a lot of times, in our houses, we know we got all kinds of junk laying around, right? And uh, it just sits there in your closet. So getting rid of it is a good thing. Oh, it's, who's calling me right now? So let's get to the point. So how does minimalism apply to software development? It's very simple. Get rid of the excess code. Don't get caught up in trying to use the latest, greatest language or fancy libraries unless you absolutely need to use those libraries, right? Simple code is better code. When I look at a code base, I can tell the difference between an advanced developer and a noobling, a noobling, because the noobling is gonna try and heap all kinds of complexity in there to, because it makes them feel good. Whereas the advanced developer knows that stripped down simple code is the key to success in all this stuff. Minimalism is something that I learned about back when I was a teenager. So that's like 70,000 years ago. And uh, in martial arts. And in certain martial arts styles, uh, the idea was to strip away excessive moves. And I got that from uh, Jeet Kune Do, uh, Bruce Lee's martial arts. And he got it from philosophy. He, I think he got it from minimalism. And he did, basically said, when you're refining your martial arts, you want to literally refine. You want to pull away the non-essential. And what you're left with is a much a more pure, a much cleaner, a much more effective style of fighting. And any style, not just you can do, but any style at the high levels, they think in that way as well. They think about reducing excessive movement. So everything is more streamlined, more efficient, more energy efficient. You see that in uh, professional fighting as well, where, you know, in many, many professional fights, whether it be UFC or boxing or whatnot, in the first round or two, both fighters, you tend to do pretty good. They tend to be pretty evenly matched. But over time, over the rounds, uh, the better fighter tends to emerge. Why? Because it, the better fighter is just much more efficient with their movement, with their energy consumption. So they are able to perform much more consistently over time than uh, the lesser opponent. That's something my boxing coach used to teach us. He used to say, you know, any bleeping fool can throw, you know, vicious punches for 30 seconds or a minute, but the train fighter is able to do it consistently and at a high level for many rounds. Anyhow, so when it comes down to software development, you want to strive to minimize and simplify your code. Minimalism is, uh, is, is a great principle. It's one of those universal principles. 
as I said, I first learned in martial arts, then I applied it to business, and then I applied it to software development, and it's always very, very effective. So let's say business. Best businesses are very efficient, streamlined businesses that have processes in place to be able to produce the service or the, the item or the widget, as the uh, economists would say. A good business is able to produce these things with the least amount of cost. So to finish off this discussion about minimalism, Again, uh, when it comes to software development, strive to uh, keep your code simple, minimal. Don't implement technology that is fancy unless it absolutely has to be implemented. The more complex your code, the more chance it will break and the more headaches it will give you. This principle of minimalism as it applies to life is that as you succeed as a software developer, don't make the mistake a lot of people make. Start buying all kinds of junk and weighing yourself down with uh, things you gotta own and look after. You just wanna uh, keep it simple. For me, again, going back, you know, a long time ago, for me, minimalism is getting rid of the unessential, Less things you have to concern yourself about, the less concerns you have, and it just makes life a lot easier. Anyway, I hope this is useful, and um, that's it for now.